I order the club sandwich all the time, and I'm not even a member, man. I don't know how I get away with it. My dad has a friend that's 87. He looks like a fucking goblin. You're supposed to lose when you're a kid. If you lose enough as a kid, you don't grow up to be an asshole. Oh my fucking God! Oh my God! I feel like when you turn 70, you're old, and then people start talking to you like you're a pet, you know? They... <laughs> that's gotta be fun for a minute, right? When they're like, can I get you anything? And you're like, yeah, put some water in my bowl. What the fuck was that? So. It's ridiculous. I don't want to live much longer than that. I hear people go like, I want to live to be 100. Really? I, have you seen 80? My dad has a friend that's 87. He looks like a fucking goblin, OK? And he knows it, too. He's like, I'm coming around the corner. Look down. Like, he knows what he looks like. Now there's just certain people I have no time for. Like, if you're sexist or homophobic or if you don't believe in conspiracy theories. I understand not all of them, not most of them, but you don't believe in any conspiracy theories? You just think the government's just batting a thousand and telling us the whole truth? <laughs> That's a strong stance to take. A government is placed in charge of all of its people. I'm a father who's been placed in charge of just one son. And I lie to that nigga all the time. <laughs> the generation that's gonna have to defend us against China. We're gonna have a whole army that's like, I would storm the beach, but I have a shellfish allergy. <laughs> In 20 years, an entire military that can get wiped out with a bag of gluten. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like we're, we're treating them soft. We're, we're, we're treating them too soft. Like I went to my cousin's son's soccer game a month ago and I was there for a half hour. Finally, I asked one of the parents, I go, hey, excuse me, uh, what's the score? And she looked up from her iPhone, all proud of herself. She was like, um, we stopped doing that. We stopped keeping score. It's bad for their confidence. F you, lady. I got money on this game. Why are we trying to stop kids from losing? You're supposed to lose when you're a kid. If you lose enough as a kid, you don't grow up to be an asshole. I might have grown up to be one of those guys who takes his shirt off like this. I might be one of those guys. No, I don't want a brain freeze. It's the most painful thing on the face of the earth. Who was the first guy to experience that? If that happened to you and you didn't know what was happening, I'm gonna say it's the guy who invented ice cream. He's like, all right, everyone. I just created this delicious treat. It's frozen. It's called ice cream. I'm trying it for the first time. It's amazing. Oh my God. It's the best thing I've ever had. I'm gonna eat it fast. I'm just gonna eat it. Ah. Ah, so good, ah, oh my gosh, it's delicious, ah, oh my fucking God, oh my God, somebody kill me, kill me, hit me with a brick, oh my God, tell my family I love them, what have I done? I'm okay. Here's why, I'll tell you why I believe in abortion is, should be legal. It's because I was raised Orthodox Jewish. And in the Old Testament, in the Talmud, there's a passage that says this. It says, if someone is coming to steal from you, you're allowed to defend yourself up to and including the point of killing them in order to defend your money. Right? Abortion, that's the same thing. It costs a lot of money to feed a kid, so he's gonna steal that from you. So kill it. Jewish Jesus commands you. He commands you to kill it. I think I'm interpreting that right. I don't know. I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. I bought a two-bedroom house, but it's up to me how many bedrooms there are, though, isn't it? 
This bedroom has an oven in it. This bedroom has a lot of people sitting around watching TV. This bedroom is AKA a hallway. This bedroom's over in that guy's house. I was at a casino, I was standing by the door, and a security guard came over and said, you're gonna have to move. You're blocking the fire exit. As though if there was a fire, I wasn't gonna run. If you're flammable and have legs, you are never blocking a fire exit. I order the club sandwich all the time, and I'm not even a member, man. I don't know how I get away with it. I like to take a toothpick and throw it in the forest and say, you're home. White guys are so afraid to be a racist, I'm telling you. You see a few black guys walking towards you in an area you don't belong in, run. I don't want to assume that these young men are going to beat me in my face. I, I don't want anybody accusing me of racism. I, so they got to wait to get beat up first before they can even think about running. Because if I see five bald white dudes walking towards me, I ain't going to wonder if they got cancer. I'm going to go, those look like skinheads. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And I'm not gonna come back. Even if they pretend they got cancer, oh, dude, oh. No, don't run, dude, we got cancer. We was all coming from chemotherapy classes over here and, 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 and they just thought we were strong enough to get, you know, and I'm, I'm still, I'm not running, I'm, I'm not, no. Cause that could be the old cancer hanging nigga trick. I go back, I go back, hey, you guys all right? Get him! oh. I fell for the cancer hanging nigga trick, how the fuck did I?